So Richard, last time I came in here, I saw the Porsche. Yep. And now this baby. It's grown. It's grown. <laughs> to this a is, beast. This is, it is such a classic. It's the original uh, like um, high-end farmer's vehicle, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? In fact, yeah. I think originally it was designed as um, you know a, a bigger version than the Land Rover. It had no carpets in. They had rubber mats. Oh, so stuff. it was fairly basic. It was oh, almost it was very rudimentary it was more when of a it utility vehicle. Came out. Right. Yeah, but then it kind of evolved into you know. Uh, a Van den Plaar high-end vehicle with, with carpets. In fact, they, the car came to us pretty much looking like this already, so we right. haven't done a restoration on this. Oh, which, it, was it was in good It, it was in pretty in good nick. Good so, nick isn't it? Yeah. In fact, I think Nick bought it at a, uh, an auction and had lots of engine problems uh, with it, and uh, you know, one of those annoying engine problems where you fix something and then something else doesn't yeah, work, yeah. and then you fix that, and now that doesn't work. And he'd lost patience with it, I think. Right. So, this is an ideal one. Yeah, engine out, restoration was already done and we just went straight into uh, converting it. So there's batteries in the front, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, we've got a battery pack in the front. Let me right. open the bonnet so you can have, have, a, have a ganders. 15 Tesla Model S batteries in altogether. Right, and they're actually from, are they from a, oh wow, look at that. They're from a Tesla, they're yep. from a Model S. Model right. S, uh, P85 I think right. it was for. So we've got uh, five Model S batteries underneath there. Underneath the battery pack is, is the, the motor. Is the motor. Right. Um, it's a dual winding motor, uh, so it's the same motor actually as the 911. All right, let's try it, let's try it. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> now then, what about if I do that? Yeah, I changed gear and I let you come up. <laughs> Dear diary, today Dear diary. was a good day. Today <laughs> was remarkable. And then we got the dual um, controllers here, so right. uh, for both windings. Uh, the chargers are here, and then isolator and the cooling system for the uh, controllers. Wow. So in a way, you've got more room, haven't you? You've got more sort of open space in a Range Rover than you you're would not have You're not going to get any more space in a Range no. Rover. It's like, you know, how many batteries can you fit? Yeah. Mm, about 50. Yeah. The main remit on this was less about can you build something which is ridiculously fast, because right. a Range Rover simply isn't a great it's handling car box. anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was more about um, having ex at least the existing amount of power, maybe a little bit more would be good. Right. Um, but it was more about, I'd like a car that can do 150 plus miles range. Right. 200 would be great. Right. So that was the main challenge on this, was how the heck are we going to get a tank yeah. to do 200 mile right. range? Yeah. Uh, so Tesla, Tesla uh, batteries were the obvious choice. In fact, right. we only do Tesla batteries now in all right. our cars because the energy density is awesome. It is, so it is better than other manufacturers. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, so so there's 15 Tesla Model S batteries in this. The P85 came with 16. So right. literally one spare. So it's, a, it's going to be around about 80 kilowatt hours. 80 then, kilowatt hours, exactly. Yep, yeah. Exactly. And we've done range tests in it. We did normal driving range test, 175 miles. And I was, wow. guess, get in. Because it's always an unknown. You yeah, can do the yeah. calcs. And until yeah. you get out, uh, out on the road with the aerodynamics, the drivetrain losses, because yeah. four by four, old fashioned four by four. So you're using four. the old transfer box and the old, yep, the old, the old gear box. Right. You've got four by four, you've got the high load diff in there for off-roading, etc. So where, so there's another battery pack then, is that under the, where Around the, the back? Is that where the fuel tank was? Exactly, yeah, so right. what, what we never want to do really is interfere with the structural integrity of the yeah. car. So we always want to essentially put the battery pack where the original fuel tank was and the uh, motor where the original engine right. was. So in the rear, and that's, um, the, that's the charger yeah, now. That's great, isn't and it? And it's lockable as well. There's a lock there. Oh, right. There you go. Right. So there's the charge Tight point. Tube charge point. That's great, and that's where the fuel cap was. Yeah. Wonderful. And then the uh, main battery pack, 10, 10 Tesla Model S um, batteries are, right. are in the rear there. So there's a box in between the um, uh, chassis rails um, where the fuel tank was, which contains 10 mo right. Model S batteries. Has it changed the interior storage at all? All, all we've done, we've uh, put a false floor in, which right. has raised it about that much. So right. it's the, one, the thickness of one I set see. of oh, That is one of the packs, yeah. So underneath there is what the, the battery box it comes up a little bit through the floor, right. and then we put a false floor in. Right. So it's, you've lost a couple of inches of uh, floor, but that's about it. The, the only thing that we had to alter on the vehicle once we'd done the conversion was the weight was a little bit heavier on the rear, right. so that the springs were sitting down a little bit uh, on, the, on the rear. Old Range Rovers always They, sit they always look like they were, yeah. But, yeah. Um, so we put the four-door springs on the rear, right. which then brought the rear back up. So right. we know we're probably about 100 kilos-ish heavier, heavier than the original, than the original car, right. which is 
absolutely fine yeah, for a yeah. car of this. You know, uh, d not sure what the carrying capacity is, but it's a lot in yes. the Range Rover. Yeah. But it's such, I mean, it, I've got to say, it is such an, you do such an amazing, neat job. Cheers. It really does look. That's the OCD. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Benefits <laughs> of OCD. <laughs> And what about now? The, I noticed the headlights. They're, they're oh, yeah, new, that, aren't they? That's yeah. one upgrade that we did do. They were like candles in the right, wind. Right. Pretty poor. Yeah. And these now are just spread the right. light. It's yeah. like having modern lights. Yeah. We're, we're all for upgrading classic cars without interfering with the, the classic nature of a car, if you like. We, we like to upgrade things that make it safer and you know, improve it in certain right. ways. So better lights is a yeah. good thing because yeah. classic, classic car lights are pretty poor. So I'll get in so we can have a look. So the actual interior then is pretty much as it would have been, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, you've got everything apart from the dials like, you know, temperature and fuel tank. Right. So you've got a um, battery monitor there, tells you how uh, full uh, the battery is. Right. And I've got two um, dials here. One gives you the revs of the motor and the other gives you the temperature of the motor. Right. And that's about it, really. Right. And then you've got... Um, uh, something which we'll be playing with later, which is kill descent mode. Oh, right. That's what that is. Yeah. So normally we put in power and eco mode. And on this power and eco mode on a Range Rover. Yeah. Yeah. And when we went off road, um, we thought, well, you know what would be great is a kind of on road, off road mode. Right. So that's in on road mode. Now, off road means that going downhill, for instance, um, you can literally go down the hill like we'll be doing later on without even braking. Right. So all the regenerative so braking. It, it just it, jacks up the regen braking. Correct, yeah. Right. And you can, it'll, it'll literally come to a stop um, right. just on the regen alone without right. even touching the brake wow. pedal. Feel the that. quality Feel of the that. velour. The velour. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful sort of humane material. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard a wearing. Original natural velour, <laughs> sir. Ah, oh, proper door handles. Oh. Feel, the luxury. Feel the luxury. Oh, look at that. That is slammed. That is shut. All my seatbelts there. Yeah, the seatbelts oh. are on the seats. On the, oh, that's quite like sensible, actually. Yeah, that's good. Uh, go into armchair mode. Oh. oh. Ah. How awfully natural. I feel very at home. It's it is so different, isn't it? And that's... I can't... I can't it's not going to move. And we're off. Tally-ho! Yeah, when we went in the VW, now in the Range Rover. I should be used to it, but it's still like, oh my God, what's I going know, on? No, I get used to yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it feels so right coming out of a manor house driveway in the Range Rover, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a great sound, wow. Yeah, it's still got a sound. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is lighter than the Tesla Model S. Is it? Yeah. It's, te Tesla Model wow. S is uh, two thousand one hundred kilos ish. Right. And this is about fifty kilos lighter. Wow. It's, uh, lighter. We're sitting than the Tesla in, Model S. Sitting in a tank, <laughs> and it's still lighter than the Tesla, <laughs> the Tesla Model S. The ground clearance on this is still pretty amazing. It is. Isn't it? It? When you think of the modern Range Rover, it's yeah. much lower. When I saw it from the back, I went, God, that's got such a big. The, the only thing additional we've done on this is we've got a skid plate under the battery box at the rear right. just in case somebody Catches hit that. a rock yeah. and it went through. See, the guy that's um, having this, it, a lot of our customers are already EV converts, so they right. already have a Tesla or a Nissan Leaf. Yeah. This is, I think, one of the first times uh, we sold a car to somebody that, that has never had. He's a massive petrol man. Right. He's got Mustangs and Porsches right. and. Uh, you know, he's got a 600 horsepower Mustang special edition right. sort of thing. You know, it makes a hell of a noise. Yeah. And, you know, we've got to account for the fact that he's never had a new vehicle. Yeah. So, you know, we've had to put in some features just to make sure it's safe. And if, if he was doing something silly, the car would have a safety mode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so windy. <laughs> Quick, get back get in! Get back in! <laughs> <laughs> ah, marvellous. Well, you've picked a fine day it to is. go off-roading in is. Wales. It's proper off-roading in Wales weather. Uh, we're probably already in gear. Let me so, just check. There you go. You're okay. in second. So now, so now it will move now. Oh, well, yeah, if you take the handbrake off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
handbrake mirror signal <laughs> manoeuvre. That, that bonnet view is so familiar, you know, from, I do remember driving them in the past. It, it'll just drive over anything, this thing. That's yeah. what I like about it. I mean, I've done off-roading before. I've done an off-road race series, as I mentioned before. And, you know, the, the ground clearance this thing has. Yeah. Uh, and, the, and the big lumps and tree trunks that it can drive over. Yeah, it just know, am yeah. amazes me. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. I know, it's not having any trouble getting up. I mean, it's not incredibly steep, but we're going up quite a climb, and it's not having any problem. I mean, I'm barely touching the throttle at all. It's just rolling along, isn't it? It's right. Uh, it's plenty of torque. It's, it's a 220 foot pound uh, motor, right. and that's 220 foot pounds from zero RPM. Right. Don't yeah, yeah. Whereas in the, I think the original engine, the V8, was uh, 180 foot pounds. Wow. wow. But that only that's only the when you got it up to the revs. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. outside that, it's probably quite gutless. Yeah. Especially lugging a big heavy thing like this around. Yeah. So yeah, there's no, there's no changing gear because no, we're running no. out of revs. It's just keep it in one gear yeah. and go, stop, go, stop. And in hill descent, it's even better. Right. We'll put it in hill descent on the way down. That's in low diff. Low diff, yeah. So Which, and that's exactly the same as on my Defender. That's the same knob and does yeah. this, and the same awkwardness to get it in. Yeah. So now, so I'll leave keep, that Keep in same. second gear, wow. and that's just in uh, low range box now. Oh, yeah. So you've Ooh. got even more power. <laughs> Wilderness like this is uh, perfect for going off road in electric yeah. vehicles. Though. It's just, you know, you, you smugometer goes up yeah. knowing that we're going off roading, yeah. but there's no pollution yeah, going into the beautiful the environment yeah, that we're yeah. travelling in. Because that was the thing when we talked to you last night and we went, oh, what's the weather like tomorrow? It might clear up. Uh, no, there's actually a severe weather warning yeah. out. <laughs> we're driving like, in a weather warning. It's like they're not going, it might be a bit damp today. We're, yeah. we're talking really high winds. I mean, we're lucky at the moment, the rain isn't that heavy. But, uh, oh, if you open up the window, I'm sure the wind oh, yes. ripped the, rip the uh, yeah. door off. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, better wheel that. spin there. Oh. Off-roading uh, electric, it just, uh, it just didn't seem thought, to I go never together. I'd see it. No. But it just naturally sits together really well. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm half hoping we get stuck just so we can put it into diff lock. <laughs> but I know we won't. I don't think we're going to get no. it. No. God, it's a, a, I'll tell you what though, it is a lot more comfortable than a Defender, which is, you know, which is the down to Range Rover to Land Rover, you know, it is, it's, not as a, it's not as grindingly, <coughs> you know, you really feel like you're in a tractor in a... Luxurious off-road. This is absolutely, I think I might put my armrest down. <coughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, there we champers, go. Robert. <laughs> champers, Robert. I need a glass of chilled champers. And maybe Pop a little... Like the pims. Yeah. <laughs> a little caviar on some toast would be very pleasant. I think there's a bit of a puddle here, Richard. It's more like a small... A in, small... in a sea. <laughs> right, it's not what you expect right at the top of a hill. It's a massive lake. <laughs> oh, oh. Am I going to clear that yeah, gate yeah, post? Fine, yeah, yeah, fine. Loads of room, mate. Loads of room. Oh. That is, I think you, we can honestly say, this is this is proper off-roading. This is where the tra track, well, track, if you if you can call it a track. If there ends. isn't a road, if there isn't a road, it's off-roading. I think that's fair to say. I had, I had no trouble going through that. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't want to walk over that. It would be I terrifying. wasn't worried at all. <laughs> it's like driving over a giant duvet. <laughs> it is an extraordinary thing to be this close to these because they really do they look like sort of almost science fiction post-apocalyptic wind turbines they kind of they're old, they look a bit old and knackered I mean they're still clearly working I mean the storms that we have up here sometimes it makes you wonder how these things are still standing because yeah. your local power because you're on the you're nearby to this grid you know you're getting that you're getting those electrons although you're getting a mix on yep. the grid you're getting those electrons well th that means this is charged mostly from that, which is just yeah, yeah. bonkers, isn't it, that that's even In possible. fact, my supplier is Ecotricity, so right. oh, well, uh, it's pretty guaranteed go. for yeah. uh, a, a green supply, but we try to charge most of our cars off the solar panels on top right. of the uh, workshop, yeah. and I'm going to get one of those uh, zappy things to help with yeah, that no, next year. Yeah, they're really good, the zappies are, yeah. Proper test. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, Lovely. yeah, we like that. Let's off road. Let's do that again. <laughs> so this is boggy stuff we're going through. Oh, this is a proper bog there. Yeah. So what's the WWW in Wales? It's what? Welsh welly weather. Welsh welly weather. <laughs> yeah. But you can tell with if you had your chunky tyres on this thing, it's unstoppable. I mean, mug, it's bloody amazing. tyres, yeah. Because yeah, that's doing this on road tyres. I mean, that's amazing. And, and uh, standard width um, uh, road yeah, tyres. Yeah, not well, even so big. They're, yeah. they're quite narrow. Pop it in uh, hill descent mode now. Flick that. Uh, so if you flick that switch over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can really so feel hill that. descent wow. mode puts full regen. Wow. Um, into the, back into the batteries. Yeah. So essentially now we're going to go all the way down, pretty extreme inclines. Yeah. Um, and you won't be Should touching be the brakes. Right. In fact, I'll, I'll see what amps we get up to. You keep your eye on the road. Right, okay. I'll look at the dial. Okay. I'll tell you what the dial says. <laughs> But if I do that, I'll just try that now. So that that's gone to... up to 80, 90 amps wow. going back in wow. the battery. That's amazing. Even that, we're barely moving. I mean, we're yep. doing four or five miles an hour. And it controls the descent it really does, nicely because it, it yeah. controls all four wheels because obviously the motor is attached to the gearbox. Yeah. So it's not just breaking the rears or the fronts more. It's actually breaking all four at the same time, which yeah. is perfect. I've had it up to 200 amps wow. on uh, the regen mode amazing, uh, going back in. Yeah. No, it's one pedal driving. One, pe yeah, I mean, no one would have believed that was possible. One pedal off-roading. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Because I'm not even like, as we go down the steeper bits, I'm not going, oh, I should cover the brake. I can tell, you can feel it. It doesn't need to. Oh, it'll, need. It'll, it'll, a motor, so. it'll, the motor will actually stop the car. Yeah, yeah. Go on, give it some welly, son. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 100, oh, 110 amps. Oh. Oh, 110 amps. Take that, batteries. <laughs> Going outside, Robert. I may be some time. <laughs> I'm not back in half an hour. Call the mountain rescue. Whoa! <laughs> Door's gone again. God, this thing's been off road. <laughs> it's filthy. Isn't it? At least the car got dirty and we didn't. That's true. That's true. That's the idea of it.